Recording guitar and playing in time. It's pretty tricky, right? Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome back to another video. Today I want to share with you my best advice for playing along to a click track to make sure that your guitar recordings are perfectly, perfectly in time. Now if you're just starting out on your journey as a recording guitarist, if you aspire to be a session player or if you just want to make the best quality content that you can for your Instagram or for your YouTube channel, then being able to play in time is really, really important. We all spend a lot of time playing the guitar and playing along to music and practicing, but we don't really often discipline ourselves to be able to play along to a clip track. Whether you're recording at home or if you go into a recording studio into a professional environment, then hearing a click track in your headphones for the first time can be really, really off-putting. So today I'm gonna to share three tips to make sure that that experience is as easy and stress-free as possible for you. Now, most people when they record guitar will probably be listening through headphones. So when you are thinking about recording to a click track, what the click track sounds like is gonna make a massive difference to how easy it is to play along to. In your DAW, whether that's Pro Tools or Logic, there are options for you to be able to change the volume and the tonality of the click. We all pick up different frequencies in our hearing naturally, and it's really important to find a sound that is really, really easy for you to listen to that you can lock into. Volume is also really, really important. A lot of people will want to turn the click track down naturally because it feels so different and it's not a sound that we're used to hearing. But I can guarantee that if you increase the volume of that click track and get it as loud as possible, then it's gonna really, really help you to lock in to the timing of the song. Now my next piece of advice is what to actually do when you have the guitar in your lap. Don't just sit still and have the click track dictate the feel and the rhythm of the particular tempo. Feel free to just move your body in your seat when you're recording, whether that is just kind of tapping your foot along to the beat or just moving your body along with the tempo. It's really important that you feel the click track throughout your whole body and let that dictate the feeling of the song. That is definitely then gonna come out in the guitar and you're gonna get better sounding recordings as a result of that. So my third and final piece of advice is all around how to actually set the tempo of your click track. This is especially difficult when it comes to songs that have a slow tempo because if it's a slow tempo there's going to be a lot more time between the intervals of the click track and it makes it more difficult to lock in to a rhythm. So if you are struggling to actually play along to a click track if the tempo of the song is slow then always try and just double the actual speed of the click. That's then gonna give you more intervals that you can basically stick to and get locked in with. It's important to make sure that you still stick to the feel of the actual song at a slower tempo, but if you have more intervals, it does become easier to feel the actual rhythm and tempo of the song. It's something that's worked really well for me in sessions in the past, so make sure to give that a try. So guys, I really hope that you found that helpful Playing along to a click track is a really alien experience for a lot of people, but if you start incorporating this into your practice routine, then when the time comes for you to record music, you're definitely gonna see much better results. As always guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one.